By the time of Isha, he could not move. And when he could not move, it is like ten men together could not move. Not like when you or when I, I don't know about you, Hafizakumullah, or when I fall sick and I think I can't move when probably I could move. He could not move and he lost consciousness. He woke up for a moment and the first thing he said, Asallanas, the first thing he said, Asallanas, did people perform their salah? Aisha, our mother, in whose presence he died. She said, لا يا رسول الله فإنهم في انتظارك No, يا رسول الله, they are still waiting for you. They have hope. Then he said, صلى الله عليه وسلم, bring me المخضب, this big vessel with water, cool fresh water, he entered inside of it and he refreshed himself and bathed and got out to get some strength and as he stood up to walk to inside the masjid, he fell. And he lost consciousness. He wakes up a while later the first thing he says, Asallanas. 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 La ya Rasulallah hum fin tizarik. He tries that again, washes and tries to get up and he can't and he falls thrice. Asallanas. Finally, he appointed Abu Bakr in radiyallahu ta'ala anhu to lead Salatul Isha. And Abu Bakr as-Siddiq led Salatul Isha of Thursday night. And the Fajr Salah of Monday and three days in between, the scholars say about 17 salawat were led by Abu Bakr in the presence of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And that means a lot for those who think and reflect. Monday morning, Fajr time. Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala is the Imam of the believers. Suddenly, suddenly, the curtain opens. From the private quarters of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, and that door opened directly into the masjid. In the front rows of the masjid, the curtain is open, and Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is standing at that door, seeing Abu Bakr radiallahu an leading his ummah in salah. The last sight from this dunya, excuse me, of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam was his ummah in salah. His ummah united in salah. 
That was the last sight of his ummah. They were so elated, so happy. قال أنس كادوا يفتتنون في صلاتهم فرحا برسول الله. Out of joy, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam now is healed. They thought he came to lead us again. No, he did not. When he looked at them, he smiled. Tabassama wa dhaik. He smiled. And then he closed the curtain. And went back. Until duha time. Is beautiful in every way. Daughter Fatima alayha salam wa radiallahu anha came to him and he called her and whispered a few words in her ears and she wept. And he called her again and he whispered a few words in her noble ears and she smiled. Later she knew she was to say that the first few words he whispered into my ears were, I will die. She wept. The next words he whispered in her ears were, you will be the first one of my household to join me. She smiled. And yes, six months later, she joined him. last, very last seconds, minutes. Abdul Rahman ibn Abi Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhuma enters the private quarters of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And he's laying in the arms of Aisha against her noble chest. And Abu Ba'an Abdul Rahman was carrying a miswak. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Aisha who read, who read with her eyes of her head and her eyes of her heart every move external and internal of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it seems she said I knew as he looked at Abdul Rahman, that he perhaps wanted siwak. At that moment, Ya Rasulullah, at that moment, she said, I told him, would you like the siwak, Ya Rasulullah? He moved his head, yes. She took it from him and and then she never forgot this to be one of her most special privileges with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. قالت اختلط ريقي بريقه عند موته. My saliva mixed with his at the moment of his death. For she said to him as the siwak was hard, she said, shall I soften it for you? He moved his head, yes. She took it in her noble sweet mouth and softened it. Softened it and gave it to him and he took it in his mouth. And right after that, Please stay safe.
head, his eyes. And said, moved his sweet lips. And Aisha said, he said, مع الذين أنعمت عليهم من النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين اللهم اغفر لي وارحمني اللهم الرفيق الأعلى اللهم الرفيق الأعلى اللهم الرفيق الأعلى With those whom you graced from among the Nabiyeen and the Muqarrabeen and the Shuhda and the Salihin. Oh Allah, forgive me. Oh Allah, grant me rahmah. of the Most High. Oh Allah, the company of the Most High. Oh Allah, the company of the Most High. I love you, Rasul. Brothers and sisters, As-Salah, wa dhikru al-mawt, akthiru min dhikri hadhi min lathat. Remember often the destroyer of passions. Said he to us, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Remember more often death, my dear brothers and sisters. It will give you more life. Mutu qabla an tamutu. As he said. For those who understand this language. For yes. We evolve and we change and we mature. His level was for the muqarrabun, for the salihun, for the seekers of the gate of love of Allah and His Rasul. Mutu qabla an tamutu. Die before you die. Die away from the nafs from the appetites of the nafs, from the hawa of the nafs. The last words of the sweetest of all human beings were these words. As-salah, as-salah, as-salah.